Good afternoon everybody. How's everybody doing today? My name's Tin Can and today I'd like to kind of talk to all the new subscribers, anybody who's thinking about subscribing, has subscribed, but really isn't quite sure what the channel's about. Um, channel's about drinking games. It's about drinking. It's about good food, good drink, nice cold drinks, friends, family, get-togethers, having parties, you know, throwing down with the best of them. Just anything kind of like that. Um, just to give you a little little history lesson, try to make a short story long, as long as I can. Um, years ago up in Michigan, I used to do a lot of drinking with my family, mainly my cousins, cousins coming over. You know, shoot, we drink from, you know, 11 o'clock at night till 9 o'clock in the morning. You know, give me enough time to pass out, get up, go to work, come home about 12, 1 o'clock in the morning, and start the process all over again, drink a little bit more on the weekend. But there was a day when it was just me and one of my cousins sitting there drinking, and he kind of looked over at me and he says, you know, wouldn't it be cool if there was a drinking game where there were shots on a board on different spots on the board and every time you landed on that spot on the board you'd have to drink and I looked at him and said well that would be kind of cool talking about like shot taking shots and he's like yeah I was like that would be cool so figured you know I'll give it a shot I told him I said yeah that's something I could probably work on so the next day I believe it was a Saturday Saturday morning I woke up had my coffee and grabbed an old Monopoly board and I overlaid it with um, paper, tracing paper actually, and I did the whole outline of the Monopoly board. And of course I added my own little twist to it, changed the spots on the board for, you know, drinking and going to the store to buy, you know, having to drink every time you landed on a spot for the, for the store or the bar, having to take two shots, so on and so forth had special cards for drinking, had special cards for having to give to your to your opponents. And the basic concept of the game was being the last man standing. You know, everybody else passes out if you can if you can walk home or if you can find your bed, then you're the winner. And that that afternoon after I finished designing the game, I overlined overlaid it with with plastic wrap so just in case it would get wet which it did thank goodness I had that on there but called my cousin over he came over I had 10 40s shared it with him we each drank five 40s we played the game I won of course and he ended up passing out but we basically just a fast-paced game it was just like one drink after another, you drink, I drink, I drink, I drink, you drink, you drink, you drink. So we just kept going and going and going. And a couple times, you know, my other cousins would come over and you could play with three or four or five, many people as you wanted, as long as you had game pieces. And we played with um, micro machines, kind of drinking and driving. Don't recommend it, don't condone it, but that's what we used, that's what I had. So we used our my little micro machines to move around the board with the six sided die everybody liked the game so then as we played you know started kinda of getting bored with it after you know a couple weeks or so so I started coming out with different drinking games and different ideas for board games and different styles of board games and I would call my cousins over and they'd come over and We'd have some good food, some good snacks, and we'd play these drinking games. They would critique me on, you know, I like this part, I don't like this part, you should change this. I don't like this game, this game's not as big as this game is. Scrap the game, just throw it away. Most of my games take a couple hours to come up with. It depends on how much research I do or, you know, how simple and easy the concept is. And it got to the point where I wasn't even calling my cousins. They were just showing up and we'd break out one of my drinking games and by this point I had five or six different board games that we would play and there were times we would invent 
the drinking game right there on the spot as we're playing it and changing this and well what about this concept using fake money you know toy money as currency for drinking beers and sharing and trading and those kind of cool things and it got to the point where I started coming up with card games different card games that we could play besides you know traditional um, you know everybody knows how to play quarters everybody pretty much knows the concept of Pong things like that so I was coming up with all these different new drinking games and it got to the point where I was getting phone calls in the middle of the night 12 o'clock 1 o'clock you know in the morning wanting me to come over because the party this guy was at or my friend or my cousin was at they only knew how to play quarters and he's like bring some of your games over and we can play and I'm like dude I gotta work in the morning but see that's what that's what I'm looking for now so I'm looking for I'm looking for subscribers to communicate with me if they have any drinking games or any ideas for drinking games it doesn't exactly have to be you know I don't need a detailed rundown of how you think the game should be but if you just give me an idea like fishing you know race car driving hunting things like that um nothing copyrighted nothing branded you know but if you have an idea for anything like that to share it with me you know we can communicate back and forth come up with an idea if you know anybody that likes drinking games anybody who likes to party anything anybody who likes to, the big get togethers things like that who plays a lot of quarters a lot of pong wants something different has they may have ideas that we can work together this is things that I want to share with with the rest of the community that we have here on my channel I want to be able to you know if you guys have any ideas for any food you know party related food any snacks any type of alcohol liquors bourbons whiskeys snaps anything like that that you have an idea for or you want me to kind of review like I did um what was it last week on the three beers you know if you have a beer that you want want me to try out before you buy it I can give you my honest opinion if I think it's good if it might be delicious but it might be three hundred dollars a bottle you know not worth it you know those kind of things price points um, I can try to do my best to kind of help you out there any kind of snacks any kind of foods that you might want me to try if you have any ideas for any kind of weird combination foods that you may like that you want me to share that we can share together with the rest of the community to help the community grow um, kind of like my Italian nachos you know things of that nature my pizza rosanias not trying to brag but you know anything like that if you have any ideas for any cocktails anything like that let me know and I'm trying to work on some more. I've got a couple good ideas for some more interactive drinking games that you can actually play along with the cards that appear on the screen with your deck of cards. So that way you can just play the video again after you reshuffle the cards you, you physically have in your hand. Reshuffle them out to your friends. Play the game again. It'll still be the same game, but you'll have different results. That's my ultimate goal. I'm also got a couple more drinking games that are going to be interactive that we can play plus all the other drinking games that I've invented years ago I want to slowly start implementing them into the channel to help this channel grow and get bigger but if you like this video please subscribe share it with your friends if you have if you still have any questions on what this channel is about anything that you can do to help you know just let me know and later on once this channel gets big enough I do want to have a have a sidekick or a partner that works with me so it's not just me so there will be two of us sharing ideas two of us filming two of us writing two of us producing I'll be the executive 
you know, he'll be the assistant producer, things of that nature, or she will be, it depends, but yeah, you I'm know, looking for a partner, right now, it's just, it's too small for that, because everybody needs to get paid, you know, unless you want to do it for fun, you know, if you want to do it for free, I'll let you, I won't complain, but right now, you know, just working on everything, I'll need an assistant, but I would like to have better camera equipment, you know, better sound, definitely better lighting than my rinky-dink little, you know, desk lamp that I use. So if you have any ideas, um, please share this on Facebook. If it's on Facebook, give it a like, follow me on Twitter. You know, I don't have much going on Twitter right now, just a little bit of what I posted, but if you have any ideas on what I can do better, you know, what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong, um, anything like that, give me a shout out, and I appreciate your time, and last but not least, I want to thank all my subscribers, you know, everybody that watches my videos, I really appreciate it, helps me out a lot, helps us out a lot, you know, if I can just reach a, reach a couple people and do this for fun, you know, that's awesome, if I can entertain a couple people, give a couple people, you know, some ideas, you know, but the more we have, the more we can share, the bigger we can get, the more ideas, um, just want to thank you all for your time, and I will see you all on the flip side, bye.